isn't one of our heroines, Vanathi, prone to memory loss? We ask you to bear it just this once. Because the time for her recovery is near. When Vanati regained consciousness, she seemed to wobble at first. Then she thought she was traveling through space. Rim rim, Jim Jim came the sound of rain. The cold air blows over the body with a KUB cup sound. So Take Am was thrilled. Well, she thought we were going to heaven through the cloud regions. It was dark all around, with intermittent flashes of lightning. I was reminded faintly of the last time the First Minister spoke of Gayendram Moksha, and the elephant wrapped around him in its praise. It happened as Prime Minister Anuradhar said. My life on earth is over and now I am going to Moksha. I will see gods and goddesses in Moksha world. But I cannot see him there, who is my favorite of all gods. What is the use of going to such a Moksha world where there is no pleasure for the mind? Damn! What a swing! The body is lifted like this. But the place where the head rests is soft and comfortable. It is like a mother's lap. Why? And like the lap of a younger bratty dearer to me than a mother. Ah! What is Kun Devadavi doing now in old Are? Will the news about me reach him by now? It is right to travel through the cloud regions in the celestial space to the world of Moksha. But what vehicle am I traveling in? Is this a paradise flight? Or Devendra's elephant called Aravatam? Father! An elephant is a bit scary. The elephant and its trunk, ring, and praise. How much power is there in such praise, it is gone. What's the fear about that anymore? What's the concern? But why is the place where the head rests so smooth as silk? Nothing is visible because it is dark all around. You can check by hand. In fact, it looks like a silk curtain. It's a bit damp too. Ah! What is this? Who touches my cheeks? Is it not a soft hand like a jasmine flower that touches it? Vanati! Vanati! Sister! Is that you? It's me! Who else? Are you also coming with me to Moksha world? Why are you in such a hurry to go to the world of Moksha? Has this world become hated by then? Then where are we going? Why did you forget even that? Don't you know that we are going to Mang Alam? What city? Say it again. All right. We're going to Anamangalam. We're going on the back of the female. Oh. An elephant. You fool. Why is your body shaking? Are you starting to get scared at the very name of an elephant? Sister. Did I fall asleep a little early? Yes, yes. You have slept blissfully in the luxury of traveling in Amberi on an elephant. Never mind, sister. I've had terrible dreams. That's what it looked like. You're mad at something. What a mad sister. You said Kalamukar. You said sacrifice. You said Gayendra Moksha. You said praise of the elephant. Then you called the Prime Minister Anuradha Sinner, Avenger. Good luck to that Brahmaraya. If he had heard everything you said about him in his sleep, he would not have slept for days. Was it all a dream, sister? Real dream? False dream? What do I know? I don't know what you dreamed. The Kalamukas caught me and went away. The First Minister asked me the secret about the prince. I refused to tell. He immediately called an elephant and ordered me to be thrown and killed. Then I was brave enough not to be disturbed for a moment. Sister! Then I remembered you. You were not there to see my courage. Go on, did you act so bravely in your dreams? Happy for that! Vanati was speechless and said, I can't believe it. She said. What can't you believe? Can't believe all I saw was a dream. Dreams are like that sometimes. They seem real. I've had them many times. So what dream did you have? Tell me. Why? It is my brother who often comes to my dreams. How many months has it been since he went to Sri Lanka? But if I close my eyes at night, he is literally standing in front of me. 
You're lucky, sister. You must admire my luck. You have no idea how my mind has been racing since the news came that he jumped into the sea. So it wasn't a nightmare too? Is his drowning in the sea the only real news? How good would it be if it was just a bad dream? It's just a reality. An eyewitness came and told me that the prince jumped into the sea. What can we do if we don't believe it? You mean the warrior of the monkey clan? Didn't he say something else about the prince? Didn't he say something about the runner girl and Nagaipatanam Sudamani Viharam? All this must have been your dream. Yes, you dreamed in your sleep about Odakari Punguzali and Nagaipatanam Sudamani Vihara. You even dreamed of becoming a Buddha Bhikshanai. What made you hate this worldly life in the meantime? Why should you become a Buddha Bhikshanai? Sister. Do you not know my mind? After hearing that the sea has taken him, what life has I in this world? It seems as if the elephant might not have thrown me down and killed me with praise, just as I had seen in my dream. Sinner. If you leave, what will happen to me? Your thing is different, sister. You. Yes, yes. You have more desire for grace than I do. Don't you? Sister. I didn't say anything like that. I'm not as brave as they are. After he died. Sichi. What are you talking about? Why should you say that he is dead? Do you know for sure? The Palyaveta Reyes, the Queen of Palyavur, and the Bidai Madhuran Thakan will say that and make a noise. Why should you and I say that? Or think? Then, what do you mean? After he jumped into the sea in the whirlwind, what else could have happened? If he had survived, he wouldn't have come this long. Fool crazy. If he jumps into the sea, does that mean the sea has taken him? If it had gone ashore, would it have been unknown for so long? Ever since the news of the prince came, your wits have been frayed. You're just starting to speak a little more clearly. Venati remained silent for a while and asked, Sister. Which town did you say we are going to? She said. To my heart. Where is it? It's on the beach near Nagaipatanam. If you dream of something, that Sudamani Viharat is a short distance from Anamangalam. Even if you're a Buddhist Bhikkhuni, it's convenient too. But don't be in a hurry to become a monk. You can decide after you get solid news about Pani's wealth. She said and smiled lightly. Sister. What are you laughing at? How dare you laugh? Are you so sure that the prince will survive? If I didn't have faith, I'd be like this, Vanathi. All the fortune-telling I've been seeing doesn't go wrong. The conch wheel lines on my brother's hand don't go wrong either. So far everything's been going well. What exactly is going on? I don't know anything. Vanatha said. Why do you want to know? Are you the one who wanders in the maze of will? They said that Aralmazai will see many continents at a young age. It has happened accordingly. Then the rest should happen by itself. What if the others? I've told you so many times. You've heard it, why do you ask me to tell it again? Go to sleep without talking. We can watch it in the morning. Vanati again thought for a while and asked, Are we going to travel all night on an elephant, sister? Why? She asked. Don't you remember that too? If we travel during the day, people will surround us in all the towns along the way. They will ask, where is the rich man of Pani? Where is the penitent of the Chola country? Why should we ask? Even if they say that I am the one who instigated the people, they will say. Why did I leave at night because of this fuss? I told you all this while leaving the old house, you are asking again. A good paranoia is taking hold of you. You must find a way to get rid of your paranoia by telling the Buddhist monks of Sudamani Viharat. Let it go, you sleep now, I am also getting sleepy sitting on this rocking hill and we should sleep tonight, said Ilya Prati. Vanatha decided not to say anything more and remained silent. Her heart was confused. She thought about everything that had happened that day. Everything seemed like true events. 
I have no illusions, sometimes she thought, my sister is trying to beat me up. She contemplated what had happened after the elephant had carried her around with praise. Nothing came to mind. What would have happened? At that moment when her life was in danger, Akka should have come right there and saved her. On seeing the sister, the first minister must have trembled. But is it so easy to save an elephant from the clutches of praise? Maybe it is? Above was Amberi. Even in that darkness I could see a little. Iliaprati may have been in that Amberi. Instead of lifting itself up and throwing itself away with praise, the elephant may have left itself in the Amberi above. Vanati has seen many times that elephants are used to doing that. Did the first minister and Iliaprati do this kind of maneuver together? Why to prevent me from traveling alone? Maybe the younger brat did this to test my mettle. Didn't you leave the toy crocodile near me and test it once? Be that as it may, I am glad that I left alone today. How comfortable it is now to lay with my head on my sister's lap. How courageous and encouraging are her words. No doubt Pawnee's wealth is safe somewhere. Maybe we will meet him at the end of this journey. When thinking like this, Vanatha's heart felt an immeasurable agitation. An exuberant nature, the opposite of melancholy, now possessed her. The elephant was walking majestically. Amberi was swaying on the elephant. Guards were going back and forth. The rain drizzled and then stopped. Clouds scattered in the sky. The stars peeked out. Vanati saw the stars visible in the sky above through the ambaric roof of the elephant. She wondered if there was any connection between the stars moving in the sky and the lives of humans living on Earth. Is there any truth in what astrologers say about the compatibility of Bonnie's silver rising star and her birth star? Is it true that the sister along with the astrologers say that the son born in her womb is going to rule the three worlds? People say that the appearance of a comet is a sign of something bad, but how far can it be true? So what happens? Is that product drowned in Pawnee's silver sea? Will he come back as his sister hopes? If so, what else could happen? After thinking like this for a long time, Vanatha got teary-eyed. When she woke up, it was dark. The dots sang the dawn hymn. Younger Brady was also awake. Pulling away Amberi's silk curtain, she looked out and said, Here we are at Anamanga Lam. We have arrived at the door of the Chola mansion. Both the princesses dismounted from the elephant. They entered the mansion. The palace nurses who were ready there took the two princesses to all the parts of the palace. At last they came to the lower part of the mansion, and stood in front of the ornate front, looking down upon the canal where it mingled with the sea. Sister! You said you were going to arrange to find the prince? What have you done? said the princess of Kajumbalur. Amadi Vanati. Preparations for the search have begun. Athobar, a boat is coming. Those on board will probably bring some news. Said Kundave. Vanatha looked back. A small boat could be seen coming through the gaps in the branches. There were two of them. Sister. Who's coming in that boat? Vanathi asked. Shentane Muthan is the one who pushes the boat. We freed him from Tanjavur underground prison the other day. She who sits is Pungazali. Vanati felt sick. Sister. I don't want to see that girl, I'm going in. She said. Why are you so afraid of her? Will she swallow you, what? I'll take care of you. Don't be afraid. Said Kundave. The boat was approaching. How did Vanatha survive after being trapped by an elephant? On this, her second guess was correct. The elephant did not throw her away by spinning the hymn. Lifted it up and gently placed it next to Amberi. There, she hugged her and put her on her lap, which was ready in the curtain. Then the Prime Minister also ascended the palanquin. May the goddess go and come? May your journey be sweet. May its end be sweet too. He said that. Sir. Thank you so much for your help. Said the youngest brat. Do you call Kajumbalurj Komali a coward? I've never seen a woman with a heavy chest like her. 
Kuntave said, she used to be a coward before. It's been a while since she got this much courage. It's all your training. That girl must have thought me a terrible giant, so be it. So many people will think so many different things about me. I don't care about that. Come on, mother. When the first minister said this, only his palak and four soldiers went west, while the elephant and horse retinue went east. It started raining shortly after the prime minister left. Regardless of the rain, the people carrying the civicas and the soldiers who guarded the civicas were going. As the rain subsided and the drizzle stopped, the palanquin suddenly stopped. Why are you standing? asked the first minister. Swami, it looks like someone is lying under that tree. Said one of the guards who went ahead. The first minister stared in the direction he pointed. A flash of lightning flashed. Yes, it looks like someone is lying down, I'll go down and see, said the first minister. As he got down from the chair and went closer, he heard the man lying under the tree moaning. Who's here? said Anuradha. Instead, looks like the prime minister. A gentle voice said. Yes, the first minister asked. Who lies here? Sir. Don't you know? I am Madhurand Hagen. Prince. What golem is this? How did you get here? What happened? The first minister tried to stop Madhurand Hakar while listening excitedly.